Flying at three times the speed of sound, the MiG-25 Foxbat is a surprise to American intelligence. The U.S. counters with the F-15 Eagle, America's super fighter. As the test program of the MiG-25 prototype continued, Artyom Mikoyan, the general designer of the MiG Bureau, was concentrating on the development of the MiG-23, the new Mach-2 swing-wing fighter. Mikoyan had designed the basic layout of the MiG-25 prototype. In March 1965, his bureau made the first public announcement of performance figures achieved by the MiG-25 prototype. It had flown around a closed thousand kilometer course at an average speed of more than 1400 miles an hour. Western defense analysts assumed that the aircraft was a development of the MiG-21, but they had a surprise coming. It continued to set world records throughout the 70s. Sixteen of them were established by Mikoyan chief test pilot Alexander Fedot, including a world absolute altitude record of almost 121,000 feet, which still stands. The MiG-25's enormous thrust to weight ratio made it perfect for climbing almost straight up. Boris Orlov reached 64,000 feet in 2 minutes and 50 seconds. Pyotr Ospenko reached 96,000 feet in 3 minutes and 10 seconds. The Foxbat was also fast, flying straight and level, and around a circuit. Mikhail Komarov completed a closed 500-kilometer course at an average speed of 1,850 miles an hour. Svetlana Savitskaya set four world speed and altitude records. Later, she became the second female Soviet cosmonaut. In the late 70s, Soviet authorities were concerned about B-1Bs coming in over the North Pole carrying cruise missiles. An interceptor to counter such a threat needed to have an extended range, be able to operate autonomously, and have a new radar. In the late 70s, two new fighters, the MiG-29 and the MiG-31, were being developed by Mikoyan. The MiG-31 developed directly from the MiG-25, but even though they look similar, they are very different. The MiG-25 is a single-seater. The MiG-31 has a crew of two and a completely redesigned front end. Under the skin, it is virtually a new aircraft. The second crew member in the MiG-31 is a weapon system officer who interprets radar information and takes control of the weapons out of the hands of the pilot. When several MiG-31s are flying together as a group and they encounter large numbers of targets, it's important to decide which plane picks up which target. The weapon system of the MiG-31s allows this to happen in a coordinated manner and even builds in the possibility of some deceptive maneuvering. None of the MiG-31's rival fighters, the F-14, the F-15, or the Tornado, can talk to their group members through digital links and coordinate a team effort. Russian sources say that in the mid-80s, Soviet bases on the Kamchatka Peninsula were feeling pressure from Japanese and American flights close to Soviet airspace. A unit of MiG-31s was sent there, and after they'd been in service for a short time, the number of flights close to the border decreased dramatically. The MiG-25 was not a dogfighter. Neither is its descendant, the MiG-31. Its power comes from high speed, high altitude performance, and the ability to engage an enemy beyond visual range. An enemy the pilot will never set eyes on. 